Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try the we're gonna try the we're gonna try the drone. Problem number one: Where do you put your coffee while drone flying? All right. So this is the drone. Last time I flew it, I flew it in Oregon. I've never flown it in Phoenix. Um, I know that there's different regulations on whether I can fly this or not, but to be honest. I'm next to a mountain, so I'm not gonna be flying higher than the mountain, so there shouldn't be any planes, realistically. You should always bring the instruction manual out when you do these things. Okay, I have the book. Now it's just gonna be a bunch of spinning and trying to get it to actually pair up. Start it up! So apparently it's yelling at me because the drone's battery is dead. But we figured it out. We got it to take off and then... Okay, so after consulting with the manual, the manual kindly informed me that I was charging the batteries incorrectly. Meaning that a green flashing light doesn't mean charged. A green flashing light means charging. A solid green light and a solid red light, that means batteries charged. So I was charging it incorrectly, the drone was actually out of battery, meaning that the GPS wasn't working and that it wasn't gonna take off because it didn't wanna fly away and then not be able to come back. So that means after practice, we're gonna be looking for a big flash or big solid green light, then we'll be able to fly this thing. So this has always been kind of a frustrating event for me um, and we're still trying to figure things out. So didn't take a ton of throws today, but we're just trying to work on some stuff. That's why I've been throwing med ball or like the weighted small little balls into the wall, trying to work on better positions. But jab went well. Um, I'm always kind of comfortable with jab. I've been throwing it since like I was probably in second grade. So jab's kind of one of my favorites. And then now I'm uh, I got a little bit of a run today, so we might go like 20 minutes or we might just, it's gonna all kind of depend on the Achilles, which is actually feeling pretty good outside of the, um, or because of the workout yesterday, I was kind of worried that it'd be not so great today, but not bad. All right, what do we got going, Mitch? Just about halfway through a 20 minute run. Trying to have some fun. Just something mind numbing, so you know, something to take my mind off the stupidness of running around in circles. What have you been thinking about the first 10 minutes? I have no idea food. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mitch, we are two laps down from the last time we talked to you. What's been on your mind? What you been thinking about? Uh, just trying to work on my breathing. Trying to control that as much as possible. So. I start breathing super hard, trying to take a few deep breaths. That's great. So what is like today's goal? Like an aerobic day, 20 minutes, what? Yeah, just aerobic 20 minutes. Trying to get to like mindset of actually 
not falling asleep. Oh, you're running laps. <laughs> yeah. All right, the hardest part. Another 15 for me. So staying awake while running, that's the focus for today, okay? Don't run blind for me. Good stuff, y'all, good stuff. Okay, we're back at the house. I am showered and uh, clean and less sweaty than when I was running those, running the workout. But um, we had the drone, got a little bit of charge while we were uh, over here at practice. So I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of a flight, a little bit more footage, maybe at least up above the house and turn it around just so you guys can see the mountains. But yeah, here's, here's flight time. Hopefully it works. This GPS is on, so we should be okay. For some reason, it's struggling with GPS. So, it becomes very hard to control when there's no GPS. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on again and see if we can get the GPS to work, because then, then I can actually fly it. Yeah, take off. GPS is gone. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of research and uh, we're gonna call it there for tonight. Um, that's gonna be the end of this footage and this footage. Uh, I don't know how it's still recording, but that was, uh, dev of the house is fine, don't worry. Um, yeah, we definitely need to find a place that has a little bit better GPS signal because once this thing leaves the ground, it's, uh, it's hard to control. But I also did just snag that off the house with spinning blades. And blades are unbroken. Big plus to Whoever made this thing, it's okay. Anyways, um, I don't know what we're doing tonight. It's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to everybody. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me try and uh, play with this thing. But remember, be nice people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast, and I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.